Hey guys, Bob here, Raw Strength and Muscle, and today we are going to talk about lean bulking. Got an excellent question in the comment section, going to make a video to answer it. Hey Bob, can you make a video about the muscle to fat gain ratio on a modest lean bulk, 200 to 300 calorie daily surplus? So what this guy's basically asking is how much fat gain is acceptable per pound of muscle gained? Like if I gain a pound of lean muscle, is it acceptable for me to gain a pound of fat? Or should I gain two pounds of lean muscle for every pound of fat that I gain? And the answer is you cannot decide in advance how many calories you're gonna need, how much, uh, how quickly you're gonna get strong, how quickly you're gonna build muscle. You can't determine any of this in advance. All you can do is set your body up so that it has the best circumstances, the best environment to grow stronger and bigger muscles, and you can just take advantage of it when it happens, but you cannot force it, okay? You could force yourself to lose fat. If you consume fewer calories than you burn, you will 100% lose fat, but you cannot force yourself to build muscle. You could force yourself to gain weight on the scale. If you consume more calories than you burn, you will gain weight on the scale, but it won't necessarily be muscle. And that's what we want. We want to build muscle, okay? So another way to look at this is like when I got all kinds of steroid accusations because I gained like 12, maybe 15 pounds in about 18 months, okay? That's not even a pound a month, but you got people out there telling you, well, you need to add in like 250 calories a day. And if you do this, you're going to gain a half of a pound of muscle a week and it's going to be pure muscle and it's going to happen week after week after week after week for the rest of your life. It doesn't happen like that. Sometimes you get stronger. Sometimes you get bigger. Sometimes you don't. Try not to get fat when you're not getting stronger and try to get as strong as possible, as big as possible when you're building lean muscle. But you're not going to notice this, okay? Like if I were able to just add 250 calories a day and gain a half a pound of muscle, a week, that would have been, over the course of 18 months, that would have been like 36 pounds of pure muscle. That don't happen, I don't care how much gear you take, okay? On the other hand, people were accusing me of being on steroids when all I really gained was, like I said, 12, 15 pounds of muscle over 18 months. That's less than a pound a month. Uh, uh, yes, less than a pound a month. That's way less than a quarter of a pound a week, okay? And I did not do it by taking an arbitrary number of calories over maintenance. This is what I suggest you do if you want to lean bulk, okay? Do it like this. Get in your protein requirements, get in your micronutrient requirements, get in your water intake, get your sleep, all your recovery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and eat at about maintenance calories, okay? Uh, especially if you've been tracking, you know what your maintenance calories are, eat at those maintenance calories. Okay, balance everything out and go to the gym and train as heavy as you can. Always try to add more weight to the bar. So what you're trying to do is judge your progress by how strong you are getting. Because if you get stronger, your muscles are also getting bigger. Okay, you're certainly not losing size if you're getting stronger in the gym. And you are going to better be able to record how strong you are in the gym, even if it's only by a pound or two pounds a week, you are better able to record how and track how fast you're getting strong as opposed to how much muscle you're building. I mean, remember, I built 12 to 15 pounds of muscle in 18 months. That's less than a pound of muscle a month. Would you really have noticed if you were gaining a quarter of a pound of muscle a week? There's no way to track that whatsoever. You drink a glass of water and you're, you know, before or after you weigh yourself and you're completely, all your measurements are off, okay? You cannot track that. But I realized when I went from one plate on the deadlift bar to two to three to four that I was getting a lot stronger, okay? My lower back, my ass, my quads, everything were getting stronger Okay, my back was getting thicker because I was throwing more weight on the bar. So that's what I did. So that's how you track your progress. Do not even worry for a second about the um, 
about using the scale. Do not worry for a second about adding in calories. So how do you add in calories? Because you can't eat the same amount of food all the time and expect to get stronger continuously, okay? Like I said, we can't force this. We cannot force ourselves to build muscle. So what I suggest you do is you eat at maintenance, you work out hard in the gym, and if you are hungry, okay, outside of the meals that you've already had, you eat a little bit extra. Try to get in you know, your body weight in calories, okay? We're doing low carb here, so you're getting your body weight in calories from fat, okay? What I suggest all of my people have, you know, that I train, and what I like to do myself is have something, I, they're called like Jimmy Dean's or Jimmy John's uh, Simple Scrambles, okay? It's basically like a little cup of soup, okay? That you basically mix together, throw in the microwave, two minutes later, you have this like scrambled egg meal with like some, you know, bacon, maybe some sausage, whatever in it. Okay. Very low carb, decent protein, a lot of fat, a couple hundred calories. Just eat one of them. If your body is fat adapted, it's going to taste like ice cream. If your body's fat adapted, you're just going to suck up all the energy from the fat. Okay. So... That is like the perfect little meal to have. It's quick and it's easy. Now, why do I need these extra calories? Maybe I helped my neighbor, you know, move and I carried sofas up and down stairs all day and I burnt more calories and I was hungry and my body needs the calories. Maybe I had a really hard leg workout and my body needs the calories to recover. Maybe I chased my kids around, you know, some amusement park and I burnt more calories. I need more calories to recover. It might just be today. So there's no need for me to increase my caloric intake on my normal diet just because I was hungry today, right now. However, if this continues, you know, two, three days in a row that I eat all my meals and I'm still hungry and have an extra meal, then that's the time to consider adding in more calories, okay? We're doing low carbs, so we're not going to increase carbs. Our protein's where it's supposed to be for our lean body weight, so we're not going to increase our protein. So just increase your caloric intake by your weight in pounds, okay, as much from fat as possible. Okay, if it's a little protein, that's okay, but try to increase your fat intake to increase your caloric intake. And that's what you do. You just continue now with this slightly elevated caloric intake and you keep going until once again, you get hungry. And then if it goes every day for two, three days, then you increase again, okay? And this will keep you lean while giving you everything that you need, okay, to build muscle size and strength. Because think of it like this, if I'm eating my meals and I'm satisfied, I have plenty of energy, I'm in a good mood, I'm not hungry, everything's going great, do I really need to stuff more food down my throat? I mean, if you have like, you know, a 40 gallon tank of gas, okay, does it make sense to put, you know, 60, 80 gallons in there, just spray it everywhere, or just get your car or your truck all jacked up and, you know, fill the back seat with gasoline? It's, it's not going to be, it's going to make a big mess and it's not going to be used. And that's the exact same thing here. You're going to make a big mess of your body and you're not going to use the fat. So at the end of the day, the answer to this question is you should never add any body fat while you're lean bulking, okay? Just continually make sure that you get stronger. And believe me, if you go from not being able to do push-ups to being able to do push-ups on rings with a 50, 60, 80 pound vest on, you're going to have fucking titties, okay? If you fucking do dips from like, I could barely do a dip to doing a dip with like a 45, a 90, 135 pounds, 180 pounds around your waist, you're gonna have fucking big shoulders, you're gonna have big fucking triceps, big chest, you're gonna be a fucking big motherfucker. And I don't care what the scale says, the scale, even if the scale doesn't move, okay? If you put on 10 pounds of muscle in a year and you lose you know, 15 pounds of fat, and your net weight has gone down five pounds, according to the scale, oh my God, I lost muscle. Yeah, you get you gained 10 pounds of muscle. You didn't notice it because it happened very slowly over the course of a year. But at the same time, you drop 15 pounds of fat. And that is what you want. You want to look more muscular, okay? Not bigger, okay? Unless you're a sumo wrestler or a football linebacker, fine, get bigger. But anybody else... For performance reasons, for health reasons, for appearance reasons, you want to look better, okay? You want to get more muscular. And muscle is the most muscle and the least fat possible, okay? So just adding, you know, some muscle and some fat or some muscle and a lot of fat, you're actually going to look like you have less muscle because you can't see it. Whereas, like I said, maybe lose five pounds over the course of a year. 
because you gained 10 pounds of muscle, lost 15 pounds of fat, I guarantee you'll be a completely different human being. And that's what we're looking for. We're not looking just to make the scale go up. Anyway, if you're really interested in learning exactly how to do this, having me help you out with your personal decisions, should I cut, should I bulk, you know, when should I increase my calories? I got questions about this, I got questions about this. Check out RSAM Brotherhood. It's my group coaching program. Got a community where you can access me every day. And I've got Zoom calls every week where you can access me, talk to me personally in the Zoom call, ask any questions you want. My best suggestion, if you really are serious about building a lot of muscle while staying lean or getting even leaner. Anyway, aside from that, thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.